Hey, welcome back to Green Pastures Online Devotional. So today is the 1st of September and I don't know what the 1st of September is like in your house, but in this house it's definitely, um, let's just say it's new. So lots of new things, new uniforms, new school bags, new stationery. Um, new timetables, new routines, new schedules. Um, you have to work out how am I going to work this week out, how am I going to do all the pickups, how am I going to be in all the places that I need to be. There is lots of new things going on, lots of new things to learn. Um, our kids are halfway through primary school, one's gone into secondary school, so I've done September a few times and just be encouraged if you're just at the start of it by about the second, third week in September the new routine will settle down, You'll it'll become old and you will become an expert at it. At the beginning of September, it is all new and it can be a bit daunting and it can be a bit overwhelming, all this new. It reminded me of a verse um, that I really love in Isaiah 43 verse 19 that says this, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Behold, it will spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And I suppose I've read that verse for years and the natural thing is, is to focus on that. Behold, I will do a new thing. Um, now it shall spring forth. There's a real feel-good factor about that verse and about that passage that I suppose I've just always been drawn to and that's the bit we focus on naturally. And um, when I was drawn to it and thinking about it this morning in a new season and everything's new and right God, I trust you, you're doing a new thing, I'm excited about it. Um, I, I got drawn to that verse again and, and looked at it with maybe a bit of a new perspective and I kind of believe it's because somebody, I, I needed it, I needed to be in encouraged um, with it this morning but I believe there's somebody listening to this today that needs the encouragement um, from the word of God and to hear from God uh, in this season that we are going through. There's there's so much new isn't there? Um, a new way to go shopping, a new way to even go to church, we're about to experience that, a new way to socialise, a new way um, look, just just so many new ways. It's the new normal that we're all trying to adjust to and get used to, and it's so over. It's so easy to get overwhelmed by all the newness. But um, with God's perspective, we are looking forward to God doing a new thing. So, what does that look like, and what is that experience like? Well, in the passage we read from Isaiah, the people uh, God was speaking to were actually in a desert and God was telling them I am about to do something new so it reminded me this morning that that promise of I'm about to do something new is actually a wilderness promise it was made to a people in the middle of a desert a barren place and a nothingness and that's where God came along and said I'm about to do something new keep going I'm about to make a way in this wilderness I'm about to make a new pathway through the nothingness that you have been going through the word desert in that passage is the Hebrew word yeshimon and it literally means waste utterly barren dry fruitlessness it's a wasteland totally desolate hopeless absolutely hopeless a hopeless place and right there in hopelessness is where God chooses to make his promise. Right in the midst of a hopeless situation, God chooses to deliver a promise to his people. And today, if you find yourself in a hopeless situation, God is reaching out to you to make a promise. He is going to do something new in your life. If you feel like God has forgotten you in your difficult place, here is the word of God to you today. He's about to do a new thing. But here's the thing, you had to go through that desert place, that desolate place, that nothingness, that wasteland, that hopeless place. You had to go through that wilderness to get to the promise of God. And the desert place and the utter wasteland is the place he will do the greatest work. 
maybe the enemy's been trying to trick you into thinking that do you know what this this fruitlessness this nothingness well that's just a sign that God's not with you that's a sign that there's no favor on your life that nothing good is going to happen that you're going to get stuck that this is the way your life is going to look like can I tell you this morning the enemy is a liar he is a liar. God has been with you. God has been leading you all along right through this wilderness place and he is about to make, do a new thing and he is about to make a way. He is about to create a pathway that you never saw coming. He is going to do a new thing. He allowed you to endure Yeshimon. He was with you. He enabled you. He equipped you to endure this Yeshimon time, this difficult barren desolate place he took he took you through it hand in hand because you, he knew you're on the way to possessing your promise your steps are ordered by the Lord he tells us that in his word and he has been with you every step of the way through the difficult difficult path you have been walking but be encouraged this morning you are coming up out of this because the lovely thing about that verse is he says this new thing is going to spring forth so I don't know about your desert place or your difficult place but I know for me sometimes it feels like you're walking through tar like every footstep is hard and heavy and difficult and am I ever going to get one more step can I encourage you this morning keep stepping no matter how difficult it is keep going but here's the lovely thing in this promise in Isaiah 43 19 is the new thing springs forth it just springs forth there's no difficulty with that there's no striving with that there's no pushing or shoving God's about to do something that will spring up in your life and there'll be an ease and a blessing and an overflow with that I really believe here's the thing that it says in Isaiah 43 verse 18 the verse before the scripture we've been reading this morning and the new living translation it says forget all that so forget the past forget what you've been walking through leave it down it's nothing compared to what I am going to do. So be encouraged about that this morning. I hope that stirs some excitement in you. What you have been through is nothing compared to the promises of God, to the hope and the expectation and the promises and the purpose that God has over you, over your life, over your family's life. He has a plan and a purpose for you this morning. And that new thing, that new thing that you have been praying for, that new thing that you've been desperately clinging to God for through your desert place is about to spring forth. Something new is coming your way this morning. And it's not just new school uniform to iron it's not just new timetables and new pickups and new schedules and new routines god is about to do something new in your life that will utterly transform you transform your way of living transform your family transform your way of thinking god is about to do something new and i am excited for you i am encouraged in the word of god this morning because he is about to do something new we are praying for you this morning be blessed and have a great day